My name is Carol Stewart. I joined the College of Arts in 1966 as a lecturer in philosophy. Um, as, I, as my career progressed, I became in succession chair of the philosophy department, and then that was in 1985 to 92, and then dean of the college from 1992 to 2001. But lots of interesting people around. Um, and um, I mean, there's the occasional person you want to kick, but that's always true wherever you are. But um, on the whole, we're particularly working as an administrator, I you know, made contacts with all sorts of people. What I really liked about being dean was learning so much about the other disciplines in the college, because up until that time, I more or less spent my time in philosophy, and I knew about the historians who were across the hall from us. But um, being dean, you really got to understand what was going on in all the other departments, and that was, you know, really exciting. As the chair of the philosophy department, my chief challenge was trying to get some renewal of the faculty, because when we were all hired in the, the mid to late 60s, um, we were a large department. We had about 22 faculty, regular full-time faculty at that point. And um, then we didn't get to hire again until 1980-something. And uh, so I spent a lot of time just trying to convince the administration that they were letting a very valuable, valuable department die um, because of no renewal whatsoever. So I managed to get a couple of new appointments as department chair and then as, as dean, as we got some renewal in the college as a whole, we, we got some more. I hardly recognize any faculty anymore because most of them have been hired since 2001, which is when I left. Get prizes, win awards, yeah. watching people in the, um, what was in the English department, um, get books published. I mean, that was that was a lot of fun. I've always always been a reader of, of novels and, and so forth. And once I became dean, I made a point of reading every last thing that came out, and that was great. Because what makes people's lives valuable? I mean, the the whole sort of direction of the current society is that what makes you happy, what makes a full life, is being able to buy more and more and more of this, that, and the other thing. That's not it at all. Um, what makes people lives happy is being able to go to good theatre, being able to read good novels, listening to good music. This is all stuff we did in the department. Um, thinking seriously about things, not just at the level. I mean, if I want to return to my own discipline, um, that's what that was all about. Don't take things at their surface value. Um, see what's actually happening. Work it out. Among our favorite jobs, obviously, was inter interviewing students who um, accused of academic misconduct. And I always found it very interesting that the, a lot of the young men would come in with this sort of, ah, oh, this is a woman, I could snow her attitude, which, you know, was, didn't know me actually. But I had one very funny afternoon where this young man came in and sat down off, off, across a coffee table from me in this sort of aggressively masculine position and, you know, telling me that, you know, we would work out this little misunderstanding. And I was explaining why, you know, having word for word verbatim with some book on your essay wasn't exactly a misunderstanding. Um, but, and he spent most of his time sitting like this. His fly was open. I think the humanities lead to understanding between people and between peoples, um, making those sorts of contacts. And, um, you know, you can't make a better planet if everybody on the planet is attempting to slaughter one another or, or, you know, eat up all the resources that belong to other people or, you know, all of those other things or just make incredible waste. Um, and I think it's the contact between people and getting people to talk together and to understand one another um, is one of the things that the humanities are obviously doing. So if we understand each other and we can, uh, you know, make things work better.